hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video i will be demonstrating the login authentication flow and logout process in hotwax commerce apps in my previous video i demonstrated the setup guide of hotwax commerce ionic sdk now let's just run the ionic sdk using the ionic serve command As we run the app, we can see the login screen where we, where we will enter the credentials to login into the app. Now, to see the API, I will open the network panel and will enter the credential that is the username and password to open the app. As we log in into the app, we will see two APIs. The first one is for the login and the second one is to get the user profile. So data flow in this app is done from the Vuex state management. Now we will see how this login is actually happening and what we have used to manage the state of login. So, as I said, the data flow is done through Vuex state management. So, to store our user authentication information, token, user info, and instance URL that we have seen on the login page, we have created a index.ts file which manages the user authentication state in our application. We already have created a store module that is user store modules which contains actions, getters, mutations and its state and also an index file in it which will contain the token. While calling the login API, we upload username password as payload. And this we can see in the service. So we have created a login service and in this we upload username and password as payload of the user to the server to retrieve the token of the current logged in user. Mean that when we enter the username and password we will get the token of that user here the token that i am talking is the json web token which is coming from the api and is unique every time the user logs in that that is every time the user even if the user is the same user or a different user every time someone logs in we will be getting a unique token when we will click on this login button on this login page then a login function will be called and it will dispatch a login action which is asking for the username and password and after we enter a valid username and password in the response we will get a token of the user and this we can see in the action of the user we will click on the login button here we can see when we click on the login button we will be get we will be getting this function called and it will dispatch this action and in this action when we enter the username and password and the username and password is valid then in response we will be getting the token and the token will be unique and then we will be dispatching the get profile and from this 
the user profile the current user profile will be displayed so this is basically the login authentication flow of this app now we will see the flow of logout as we log out we are able to navigate to the login screen so how this is happening so this is the settings page and here we are finding the logout button when this logout button is clicked this logout method is called and an action that is the logout action will be dispatched inside this action we are committing a mutation that is user end session and inside this mutation we have passed an empty token so due to this empty token it will not find any information about the user and it will automatically navig uh, log out and navigate us to the login screen so this is the way of managing the login and logout using the token in a hotwax commerce app